So today we're at King's Edge Walk. Chances is just going off to walk the course. Uh, we're noticing a new book jacket because the other one lost all its buttons. Uh, do you think we need to do something about that silk? So, we'll like, just, oh, no. We have to remedy that for Christmas. Anyway, uh, Chances is here. It's BS today, hence why I'm not on a horse. Because uh, I'm not paying extra to take Robbie show jumping when next weekend they've got unaffiliated. And um, Chad says here to jump the British novice on Nova, who is behind me, who I am on the supervision duties. Yeah, I am. You. That's you. So I was just commenting earlier, Janet says you've got a jacket with buttons again. Well, I know. Last time I went for ES, I did not have a jacket with buttons. It was very embarrassing. Though I said um, your Christmas present clearly needs to be a black silk. Yeah, it's not great, is it? Right, well, it is my like absolute pet hate is black and navy. Just looks, and then yeah. you've got brown boots as well. You literally are upsetting my old school aesthetic. The thing is, Lucy, I don't really care. Like, <laughs> you know, it's not about what you look like when you jump the jumps. It's about how you jump the jumps. Oh, such it? a show jumper mentality. <laughs> no, not really, because uh, show jumpers are generally quite stylish. Uh, we're definitely lacking that. Where's your long flowing locks down the back of your jacket? Yeah, yeah, I can't grow, I can't grow a mane, so <laughs> that's all you're gonna get. Nova's Nova ma- got long flowing locks instead. <sighs> I think he's seen cat, I don't know what to see. I think Something. Charlotte's horses are out the back. Oh, okay. He did get here and have his wee, so we're happy about that. Oh yes, can't forget the wee. He has can't to come out the trailer, have a wee, or else he can't perform. Well, he will perform, but he'll buck whilst yeah. performing, because like a typical boy, he can't possibly like concentrate on two things at once. And he can't just have a wee at a sensible time. To provide him with the opportunity. So you're coming out, doing British Norvest, 90 centimetres. Yeah. Well, well we haven't... He's jumped a couple of times since Gatcombe, that was a couple of months ago. We haven't been to a show since. I'd like to get his British Novice double clears. Um, so, yeah, you have to get... You have to get four, four double clears to qualify for second rounds. And then the second rounds are quite significantly bigger than 90 centimetres. Well, it starts at a metre, doesn't it? Then you've got your second round, which is usually 105, and your third round's newcomers. Yeah, so they have like a, it's a three round competition. Last, last one standing and then there's a jump off. Yeah. So over like would, 115. It would be nice to try and aim for that with him because he should be able to then cope for the second round. But it does mean committing to jumping a few 90 centimetre plus, which actually is no bad thing because I need to get my eye in and he don't mind. Yeah. I want to jump for you. But uh, he's also slightly more successful than I was at BS. Oh, goodness, it's so This is fun, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it like this, people. Yeah. I just failed my prank of B test. Yeah, aren't you doing your BHS stages soon? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell the exam. <laughs> do um, as I say, not as I demonstrate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyway, I need to get a bit of a move on because we don't have that many horses before us. It's not busy here today, but... No, it's not. Which is quite good for show jumping. Yeah, I hate show jumping real max. He used to be really quite horse shy, so that's why I haven't done that much show jumping with him. He's a lot better now. The nice thing at this height is I can just stand around, not actually have to do anything like put fences up and stuff. Yeah, thanks Liz. It's great green. I know. Labour intensive than you jumping your on tens. Yeah. Right, let's get on.
we have number nine, Jancy Wheel, and Escape the Opposition. Owned and ridden. Watch Jackson or do some turns, so I think she's quite serious. Trying to get her money back. Go across and she goes cross country. Well done, Jancis. Well done, Jancis. Look at you and your inside lines and going fast and you go cross country. Yeah, that actually, that's true, isn't it? That's a bit embarrassing. Because <laughs> they get really competitive at some point. Yes. Although I was really slow on that. And I nearly went to the wrong hunt. The first one I have the ticket is number three. And I was like, oh no, that's number five, number eight. And then I was really slow on my left turn after that. Well, I don't think anyone looks like they're going to go super fast today. No. Sorry, you guys, double clear. That's the first one. First double clear, there first you go. First one done, out of the way. And then you've got until June to get the rest. Oh, that's good. That's good. No, he feels good. He's a. Uh, He's towing me a little bit, which is nice, but it's probably, there's not much in there to sort of back him off either. No. Um, and it's quite nice having him. No, where are you going? Wow, well, you've having had a lovely time. Yeah, do you know what? This is actually what it's all about. Having a lovely time. A lovely time. And I decided just to do one class because, God, I'm not as fit as he is, but... Just, just coming back into it. Normally we would do two classes, but well, I'll fingers crossed, today. get some money back. Yeah, well that would be good. Then in a couple of weeks, I think there's Monday planes in a couple of weeks, so you can go there and do two classes. Good boy. I'm not going to join BS this year. Well, it's never worked out that well for you, has it, Lucy? No. What, what's your BS record, Lucy? Probably about 48 faults per round. <laughs> yeah. Average of yeah. How much it, money have you won? Zero. And how many horses has that been on? Actually, that's not true. Over the years, I've probably won 50 quid with <laughs> several several horses. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, the cost it, analysis on this is not good. His mother was really quite successful. Yeah. She was a little winning machine. And he doesn't have quite her natural pace. Um, but I think he'll turn into something like Moon, don't you? Because he enjoys it. He's quite nippy. Yeah. Yeah, going to win some money. It's a lot easier coming showdown than it is going eventing, isn't it? I know, but it's not the same. I, I don't know, I still get a buzz. Yeah, yeah, for like... But in a jump off. Yeah, but you're not going to sat... What, eventing, you sit around and think about it for like three or four days, yeah. your buzz. Mostly Whereas show jumping, you, th think, you sit about it and think about it for an hour. When you say buzz, most people say like blind, sick terror. Yeah, but that's the joy of it. Whereas show jumping, it lasts an hour yeah, and then it wears off. Eventing, three days. A really good cross country, then you get your equi reel and it ca your buzz carries on. Right. Yeah, but in doing so, it costs another sort of what? How much are the invent photos and the, the equi reel? Oh, you're going to spend another, another, 70, quid? another 70, 100 quid. <laughs> but it's lifetime memories for our old people's home. So he's barefoot. Why is he barefoot? Oh, yeah, well, actually, if you. I'll bring him onto the hard, you can look at his feet because he's actually being trimmed tomorrow. Okay. And I can show you the before and after of his 
True. So Incy's also going barefoot this winter. I'm following Janice's lead because I love to be a sheeple. Basically, because Nova's got white feet, or three white feet, they're not super strong feet. And we have had a couple of issues this year with this, this left paw um, got a bit of a crack in it. And so he had to change his shoeing, so he's been shod without any clips this year in front. And, uh, hey, yeah, you know my boy. Come on, Nina, it's Wendy Garrett. Please. So, this is his first, this will be his first trim since the shoes came off. So, so at the moment... So his shoes his came off immediately after Gatcom? A couple of weeks after. Yeah. So he's on five, five weeks since his shoes came off. And the feet don't look great. No, but he's got no nail holes. No, the nail holes have already grown down. But you can see his feet are a bit ragged. Um, they still got a bit the shape of the shoe. But after tomorrow's trim. Um, so you just use a standard farrier? Yeah, yeah. Standard farrier. And we keep him on a five week trimming cycle. Yeah. So lots of people take the shoes off and think, oh great, I won't need the farrier for a while then. Yeah. But no, you almost need, you need them as regularly as with shoes. And sometimes when they first come out, no, they are not really helpful. Stand it back over. Sometimes when they first come off, you actually need more regular trims. Yeah, that just makes sense. Keep, just to keep just them to tidy keep and stop tidy. any splits and stuff. Exactly, because as the nail holes grow down, they do crack and break up. They look really ugly, and you have to persevere with it and and ignore it. Um, he had a week off out in the field after the shoes came off, and then back to normal hacking. Yeah, and he he copes absolutely fine without hacking. It's not super stony, so he would need shoes or boots for really rough terrain. Um, but despite the fact his, his feet are a bit crumbly, they're actually really quite tough. Yeah. So he'll stay all winter now with no shoes, and I expect his feet to look a lot better within a couple of trimming cycles. And then he'll have his shoes back on. No, uh, you're gross. He is gross. <laughs> he'll have his shoes back on um, when we want to go cross country schooling. Yeah, because you would never have ever about studs, would you? No, I did run his mother barefoot just for a couple of runs. She was really foot sturdy and she coped. Um, but then I tried to run another horse without shoes and she coped at little stuff but she had a really bad accident out cross country schooling her barefoot barefoot where she she slipped and you ended up in hospital i ended up being airlifted to hospital i ain't got long term nerve damage <laughs> so never again um i'm really pro not having shoes on if you don't need them and he'll jump all winter no problem you know, you look at like Henrik von Eckermann and, and plenty and of the other French. top show jumpers. They're all doing it with no shoes on. And he'll, you know, like to me, it's not quite the same. But he'll be fine. It won't yep. make any difference to how he moves and how he jumps on the surface. But as soon as we need to get out and go cross country schooling, he'll have the shoes back on. Yeah. So I'm following the same thing with Incy this year. Mostly because she gets, she's got slightly odd feet. I'll video at some point, maybe today. And yeah. one goes, she's got a slightly, she's always had a boxy foot. She was born with it. We've always monitored it quite carefully. But we've noticed she's had a couple of breaks with no shoes. Last year she had five months with no shoes. And it sorts the foot out beautifully rather than us having to go to it remedial does. farrier. As soon as you're in shoes, you can't change much about the foot. That's what I've learned. You're pretty much just going to have to nail on to what's there. And if you start going down the road of trying to put a wedge in, or you know, it just compromises the foot further. So I've always found, I mean, I've never had a horse with bad feet. So maybe I've just been a bit lucky there, but I've always found doing a good few months without shoes just lets them grow the foot that they want to grow, and then it's, it's all fine. He'd have a slight tendency 
to toe in a little bit. Yeah, Incy slightly toe in. But we let him toe in a little bit because that's, I mean, it's really minor. But you don't want to go straightening up a foot artificially with a shoe that wants to, as long as they're landing flat. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not an expert and I'm not barefoot brigade or anything like that. Shoes have used. I actually, well, purpose. mine was, I had a very long term chat with my farrier about Incy's feet and he's like barefoot's best um, to try and sort that foot out because what happens is her, her boxy foot overtakes and then she ends up with an imbalance in front because the flat foot gets flatter. Yeah, yeah. Whereas if you're barefoot, because the flat foot has to work a little harder yeah. than if it was in a shoe, it actually it then, actually it, builds per, height. it builds height yeah. and the boxy foot doesn't get under control then, yeah. out of control. So for her then she's not uneven in front, yeah. whereas if she you leave shoes on her the flat foot gets flatter and fatter and then you're on bar shoes yeah. which i don't want you know last year it worked beautifully yeah. and she can do an event season and the foot will hold up to it yeah but she can't she needs at least five months without shoes yeah yeah they do you can't take them off for six weeks and go well they've had time without shoes that's fine because you're almost going to be worse yeah after just out of one shoeing cycle you need to give it at least so like him she'll go as soon as we want to go cross-country schooling she'll go into shoes You've and got rougher hacking than we've got rougher so hacking, gonna so I'm gonna boots, so I'm gonna have to get foot boots. Yeah. Whereas we've got pretty hacking from. And road work is brilliant for unshod feet. Yep. So, so people say, oh, I can't. I do too much road work. The road work stimulates the foot to grow. Okay, you can't suddenly go and trot miles and miles on the road as soon as your shoes come off. You want to do it gradually, but it will make more foot grow. Yeah. So. I don't think Incy will do like, she'll have to just start off quite slowly. Yeah, but that's fine because you bring her back into work anyway, yeah. aren't you? Anything else you have is fine. And she's got no like plans until Christmas. So, we can give it a bit of time and get her measured up for hoof boots. When she becomes a psychopath and needs to go up a hill. Yeah, well, they both suffer from Januaryitis, which is uh, a sudden loss of all brain cells. Yeah, psychopaths. <laughs> And uh, he gets really sharp to hack, like, like really sharp. And uh, Incy gets just really sharp full stop, doesn't she? Yep, she's just horrible. <laughs> hey, we've got all that to look forward to. Anyway, good first right. outing, you're happy. Good first outing. We'll wait as soon as there's only a couple more to jump, find out how we've done. And then... It'll be second and home. there'll be no prize money. That's exactly what we'll have. Jancis is holding a rosette. Oh. You were right, Lucy. Second. It came second, got but you were wrong. You got beaten by a hunter. <laughs> it was a nice hunter. You were wrong because we won money. Yeah, see, I've come second in British Novice, not enough entries. Yeah. So okay. Nova's won 20 quid. Let's bought your carrots for the next week. Yeah, good, good boy. There you go, so you're very happy now. Oh, delighted. <laughs> Perfect day. Yeah. Pop round something well within my comfort zone. <laughs> 120 quid. <laughs> yeah. Go home happy, get back before lunchtime. Yeah. Put the fire on. Very good. There you go. Life sorted. Right. I need to go and ride some pony. One pony. One pony. I'm going to take my pony home. Right. Until then. Over and out. Bye.